Hello and welcome to a Super Circuit Maker mini build where we'll take a look at the analog comparator. It looks like this. And a way to use it to perhaps doing analog addressing like this to send signals in the same redstone, the, the tiny pile of redstone trays that we have and address different locations. With this system you can have 255 different uh, receivers but you can't use them at the same time. See? The highest value will always have priority. But if you want to do that then you can take a look at this system where I have a bundled wire that means that you can have 16 different colors at the same time. So we can have two doors opening at the same time. Or you can have one turned on all the time and then have others just temporarily. With this system you can actually address above 4000 different receivers I think. So more than you need probably. And remember up to 16 at the same time if you want to have the sun permanent on and off. So let's take a look at how this works. This blueprint can be found in the video description. So I'm just not doing the export now, you can find it there directly. So green is the input signal. This is a common signal that comes here, as you can see, or here. Here I have gray, yeah, I have gray and brown to have the different colors, but this part is exactly the same. I just change these to brown to have the brown ones. So let's get back to this. Green is our input signal. We have two subtractors and one constant. So this constant is what we're looking for. Here I have 235 for as an example. Over here I had 255 here because this is the full strength. Here I have an output uh, the constant 1 and remove that from 255. That gives us 254. Here it's 2 and 3. So that gives us lesser and lesser. But this is the one that we detect with. So 235. On one side we have the signal minus the constant and if we have let's say signal 20 so 20 minus 235 that's 0 of course and on this side we have the constant minus the signal so 215 but both of these must be turned off for the redstone torch to be turned on so now we have zero. Not until we have 235. Then you can see that the signal minus the constant and constant minus signal is of course both are zero. And this will turn on the output signal, perhaps to a redstone signal like this. But as soon as we change this to above or below, it will turn off. And this is a, this simple system is what makes this possible. 255, 4, 3 and 2 and here we have 5, 4, 3 and 2 of course. Very simple. There are other uses for the analog comparator but I'll cover that in a different video. And this is how simple you can combine them into 4000 analog addressing system. Very fun. It could actually be quite useful. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.